Well, we're all set up here. Been open about a half hour. Lots of customers. But I'm still waiting. And it's a little windy. I got my weight stretched out. My signs are blowing around, but this is the market that's on the street. They actually close the whole block of street during the summer for this Saturday market. And then we wander around as we do always. That's the best of it right there. You know the fig, right? But I'm going to try. Vendors. Great Guga Muga. Crocs restaurant, their parking lot. Nice Bowser. There's the full quiver. Coffee guy. Started with a pig. The best of it. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> Sweet tooth. Pies. More, more stuff being cooked. More chicken. That's the leader's tent. And we come around this way. This is a big market. But it's been here a long time. Creative Witch. She works at Wednesday Market with me. How you doing? Olive oil. Great, gracious. This has never been a great market for knives. It's been okay sometimes, but never ripper. Oh, what do you got there, coffee man? That's the bread. You got a cup? You need? You need? No, nah, I'm okay. I might get one in a minute or two. Right. Oh, you got a few knives and a hat and a shirt. Good gracious. Okay. Uh, I've already gotten like a bunch of compliments on my hat, so I think, uh, I think, I think uh, you might want to start selling these, <laughs> the young kids. Okay, man. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, sir. Coffee shop guy. Three ships coffee. He works all the all the markets too. He's got a coffee shop. Right there. He brought me a nice hat. And a fantastic t-shirt. Virginia is for lovers. Three ships coffee. Virginia Beach. Size is it? How you doing? Okay, how you doing? Good. Been waiting for you to come back. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure what size. The coffee shop guy brought me two knives. And then a customer walked up with three hinkles. Chefs, utility, and a little para. Anyway, getting back to this market. And the reason I believe it's somewhat slow for knives is the other markets that I work that are really, really great markets are based inside of communities. 
This is not. This is this is what they call the vibe section of Virginia Beach. You see, there's a little market going on over there. It's uh, it draws a lot of people, but they're here just for the other things. And if they bring the knives in, they have to bring them in on a bicycle or walk them in from a parking lot down the street. It's not like a community where they can walk from their home and just bring them over here, like at the church, or both those churches. That's what I look at. But, you know, I'm hoping that changes. We'll see how it goes. Well, we got a nice Worcester chef. And then a guy strolled up with uh, five Chicago cutleries. So it's starting off okay. How you doing today? Now I got a Kershaw. It's a safety knife, he calls it. It has no point on it. You see, it's made like that. This is the first one of these I've ever seen. This place is so crowded now, you can't even believe it. Look at them over there. They're like flick as, thick as fleas over there. I just went over there to carry a knife to a lady. I couldn't hardly get through the crowd over there. A oh, nice pocket knife. Automatic. Protect. I don't think I've ever known an automatic protect. I've done a lot of protects, especially at the gun show, but I don't think I've ever seen an automatic one. I like it. Aluminum scales. Nice ticket. I guess it's going to be a sport hunting pocket knife kind of day. We got a double bladed, double edged. Dynamics Winkler knife. Oh, it's a Winkler. Oh, yeah, that's a nice knife. Got a little chip right there. I know you can't see it. Right there. Everything else looks pretty good. Winkler. I like it. Well, I think this is going to be the last customer. It's quarter to 12. I got a Santuco. I think it's a Wustoff. I can't see no marks on it. In a pampered shelf, like a utility, and a good cook. Santuco. All righty. Well, I'm not through. I had a guy just walk up with a big, long, serrated bread knife and a Dexter serrated knife. I got two more knives. Well, my day got a little better. I got home. Chris had a package for me. I've already sharpened it. It's two Caffalons and a uh, Hinkle. And I got a knock on the door about a half hour ago. I got a little teeny serrated Rikon. I can't tell what this is, but it appears to be a Hankel or a Woodstock and two shuns, shuns, stainless models, all stainless, wow. I don't know what they call them. And we're having cabbage, onions. And sausages and apples. and apples. My buddy next door neighbor's coming over, Mr. Frankavilla. We're gonna have sausage dinner. Okay. My dad, I tell you, we used to go. With my father, soon, and then he passed. He went when I was. He passed when I was fourteen. Right. Well, later on, when I turned seventeen. My uncle shows up at the door and he says, How are you doing? Hey, had a birthday. <laughs> you your license? Yeah. Well, the next thing was, what you doing? What you doing, Big old Jack? Hmm? You're my big old. Hi, hi there, little Indian. Were you scared Jack was getting all the scratches? Yeah, Big Jack gets all the scratches because he's Big Jack. That's right. He was just an Indian, a baby Indian. 
They're waiting for them sausages yeah. is what they're doing. So who's in here? Yeah, the baby, the baby scooter. What are you doing in my chair? I didn't see you in there. Here come the cat, here come the doggies. Oh, look at here. He's waiting for sausages too. Right in the dining room. Katmandu, what are you doing, Katmandu? You're not very friendly today. You don't look like you're very friendly. What's the matter with you? You're not too bad today, though, are you? No, he's a nice baby. Sometimes. What are you doing, Big Ol' Jack? Little by little by, we got it done, and it wasn't a big issue. Diet food. We used to drive on uh, cabbage, apples, drive on the farm. onions, they had what they called some meager sausages. You better leave that cat alone. You'll eat your ears off if you mess with him. Look how big he is. He's big as you, Jack. Isn't he? You hate him, don't you? <laughs> I hate that cat. Never disparage anyone. Um, please let me know, just, you know, about the status of my working part time. Right. No answer. Mm, really? So I don't know 